Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Night Mode here, and I hate that I gotta say this like once every two months, but we're finally back. <laughs> Welcome to season 2022 of the Night Mode channel, and I appreciate all of you guys for sticking it out with me. It's been a very busy past couple of months, holiday season. My wheel kind of stopped working, which I'm gonna get into in a little bit, but it was just a lot of things that made it a little bit harder for me to make content or stream or whatever the case is uh consistently before but new year new start we're back don't have that many excuses now to be able to do that you know so i'm really excited to see where this year is going to take us and once again i appreciate all of you guys for coming in checking out some of the older videos leaving dope comments it's just awesome that like fuels me up so much and i really really appreciate it so if you guys haven't already please hit that subscribe button and if you guys like this video we're going to be going over a lot of the changes that i have for this year so i'm very excited to show you guys what that's like but once again much appreciated let's hop right into it ah shit here we go again all right well one of the biggest things that i'm very excited about that it kind of happened unfortunately and if you if anybody happened to see my last stream you would understand why i say that oh no my wheel why why <laughs> oh my god i'm like wait what is going on is it me or is it my wheel or what the fuck is going on <laughs> So this is what's been holding me together for the past like six to eight months, I would say, or somewhere around there. This is the Rickmotec Mini Mite Direct Drive Wheel. So the thing is, is that it kind of sucks because there's not many mounts for this wheel. And I've done plenty of different makeshift mounts in order to get it all angled like I like it, like this. Something like you would get in a real drift car or something like that, you know, because naturally this bottom bracket here is set up so you just have it straight. And I don't know anybody that drives a wheel straight, more power to you if you do, I just can't. That's just weird to me. So I have to have it in an angle. Now when doing that, the way that these cables are set up is right, it's gonna hit that bottom part of whatever table that you have it set up on so it's like nearly impossible to avoid this and i've tried in the past ways to do that but this wheel base itself is just very heavy altogether, and it's just a little bit too much to get this set up the way to save the cables from getting any damage to it i figured out a way to avoid that Long story short, the cable still didn't survive, and uh, unfortunately, we're dead again. And that's where this bad boy that you can't even see comes into the picture. Your boy got a SimiCube, SimiCube 2 Sport, uh, not the Pro. Um, for drifting, especially, I think, um, who is it, 3 Noon, he kind of said the same thing in his video as well, where you don't need that extra power that the pro has in order to drift if that's your main thing um now i don't know about the other racing disciplines and stuff like that but in my case i this is beyond enough like i'm only 60 percent or 50 or 60 percent of the power because <laughs> it's i love to really manhandle this wheel like the same way i did with the rickmotec here but it, i like that is strong enough like I can't go further I cannot go further so it's pretty impressive how powerful this is and that's where I was kind of like oh should I get the pro because I, I love to I love to fight it I love to fight the wheel but this is beyond enough beyond enough and I really love this whole quick lock system or quick release system you just simply pull out this pin and uh you can switch it out with whatever wheel naturally it didn't come with the wheel it just came with the wheelbase that i purchased so i was able to throw in the nrg wheel that i had before and it just it's jeez bro so not gonna lie one thing that kind of threw me off of the wheel at the very beginning but it was just more so i guess my uh excitement to try out the wheel right away 
was naturally when you get a new wheel you got to set it up you got to get your settings right you got to do all that good stuff and apparently i learned this now i never really had a solid understanding of how to set up the wheel and um one thing i do want to do very soon is show you guys the actual settings that i have currently that way it may help out anybody else that has this wheel and if anything i want to hear some tips from you guys on things that i can probably do to make this wheel feel even better so now we are in true drive which is the software that is used for the semi cube and you can already see the icon on the top left there and yeah it's very straight to the point pretty simple to use in my personal compared to some other platforms out there but you can see that the wheel is working but um let's go down to what's the section called the true drive paddock accounts and uh, as you can see under the online profiles we can go ahead and narrow it down by things that we want to search for and try out that other people have already configured for us um so as you can see it's set a corsa and drifting is a car type we have a couple options here that we can choose so fast and tight steering drifting realistic so on and so forth and i believe i took one of these and i kind of just tweaked it a bit um actually tweaked it a good amount from the original that the person had in order to afford to fit the way that i like to drive uh the dampening the dampening is probably one of the biggest parts that if you remember earlier i was saying how the wheel just wanted to go straight every time like i would turn any degrees as soon as I hit the zero degrees, it wants to go straight. But the dampening, or damping, my bad, um, really affected that immensely, immensely. It's just like, it, it actually wants to do everything that I wanted it to do. Um, so that's probably the biggest one. I put that at 20% right now. Um, I'm still working on finding that balance between that and the first feedback because Oh, it's just it has like a small thing there where it still kind of wants to go straight but i can compensate for that a lot more put this for you guys again real quick it stop the screen i put the bottom portion stop this uh, or pause the video whatever the case is all right so right now i am actually in clutch kickers on a solo run with just myself nobody else doing a practice run and i am completely like bare stock of what the wheel came with right now so that's exactly what i'm testing out in the field just to kind of show an example of what it is actually like and as you can see <laughs> i can't even turn the wheel man like i mean i'm not i can turn the wheel but i can't hold it, it you don't feel any sensation out of it and i am just mainly doing this to show like whatever wheels you have it's likely that maybe you have to do some adjustments if you're not finding yourself being able to actually hold the drift. And this really goes to show because it can be very discouraging when this is what's happening and you're trying to figure out what you're doing. You're like, look what I have to do in order to keep this thing like on the track itself. It's just naturally in impossible slash insane you're working out your arms which is probably a good thing for everybody that's staying indoors during quarantine but it's not the ideal thing when you're trying to hold a nice drift line so let's go ahead and open up the semi cube program and hop back into the settings that i showed you guys a little bit earlier that is saved and let's actually get some solid drifts all right so i know i said i was gonna hop into an online server but i tested it out with streamlabs long story short it was a bit too laggy so i'm just gonna hop into this practice server here and uh i got my tires warmed up a decent amount i think i need to yeah i definitely do need to do a little bit more warming up but just to give you guys a little bit of a glimpse as to what this wheel is like once it's all tuned up with those settings that I posted right here. So it's just that ASMR of the wheel spinning in my hand, it's like, it's, uh, it's so satisfying. That's number one. I have just enough strength, so I am like, I have to kind of fight it but not too much where it's just like overbearing. 
Ah, it's just so nice. It's just so nice. And one cool part, going in the grass a little bit there, but one cool part is um, with these kendas, I can feel the strength incredibly with cold tires on this wheel. And as it loosens up with heat, it loosens up the wheel. And I never felt that with my own wheel before. It was just like, it was always hard and it was always like, well, oh, wrong pedal. But it was always just weird. And it was like, I can tell like I'm on loose tire or on cold tires because of just the way that the car slides, but I was never really able to feel it in the wheel. And now I actually can and now, I can tell that the wheel or the tires are loosened up and now we can actually send it really well here. So let me go ahead and put together a little a little run for you guys and you can just enjoy that ASMR factor. I wish you guys could see more of my side screens. I gotta get that figured out as well. I have a solution with some GoPros that I will do in order to make that happen. But for the time being, just the wheel just spinning man it's just it's so nice it's just like ah, look at that man <laughs> it's so sick it's so sick that it just does this thing like that and it's so smooth oh going into the grass again no all right let's get a better run of that whole thing there but oh this just feels so good let's see if i can do it one hand Went a little bit short there, but it just, it, the fact that like the car just guides itself and I'm just there to do a little bit of adjustments here and there, it just, that just says so much right there, man, look at this. It literally just comes down to throttle control, flight modulations here and there in order to drive the car and that's it. This is so fire, man. This is so fire. Wow. Absolutely insane. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed that little test drive of the wheel that I got here, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. I can feel the potential and the joy that I'm gonna have with it without having to stress anymore. It's like, that's such a big relief off of my head, man. And I'm really excited to see where this is gonna end up taking this whole channel because it's finally something secure. I can actually drive now, and I just have to do some fine tweaks here and there. That's inevitable, but, Finally, I could have some fun and not have to worry about much <laughs> compared to before. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video as one of the little things that is going to be changing in this whole atmosphere of this night mode cave, I guess we can call it. But I hope you guys stick it out and join us on that ride and that fun journey that's going to be had. And once again, I appreciate all of you guys and hop into that Coastline Drift Club Discord. It's going to be in the description below. And I hope to see you guys there and get some slides with you. So I hope everybody has a great day once again. Happy 2022 and catch you guys in the next video very, very, very soon. Please, please, please. I hope so. Catch you guys later. Peace.